However, with primary pericardial mesothelioma, pericardial fluid may not contain malignant cells and the tissue biopsy is more useful in diagnosis. Using conventional cytology, diagnosis of malignant mesothelioma is very difficult. But the enhancement of accuracy of cytology has been made by immunohistochemistry. Coming to the biopsy of the method, Generally, a biopsy is needed to confirm a diagnosis of malignant mesothelioma. A doctor removes a sample of tissue for examination under a microscope by a pathologist. A biopsy may be done in different ways, depending on where the abnormal area is located. If the cancer is in the chest, the doctor may perform a thoracoscopy. In this procedure, the doctor makes a small cut through the chest wall and puts a thin lighted tube called a thoracoscope into the chest between two ribs. Thoracoscopy allows the doctor to look inside the chest and obtain tissue samples. Alternatively, the cardiothoracic surgeon might directly open the chest thoracotomy. Alternatively, the cardiothoracic surgeon might make use of thoracotomy, which is the direct opening of the chest. If the cancer is in the abdomen, the doctor may perform a laparoscopy. To obtain tissue for examination, the doctor makes a small incision in the abdomen and inserts a special instrument into the abdominal cavity. If these procedures do not yield enough tissue, an open surgical procedure may be necessary. High results are even obtained by immunochemistry. Immunohistochemical studies play an important role for the pathologist in differentiating malignant mesothelioma from neoplastic mimics, such as breast or lung cancer, that has metastasized to the pleura. There are numerous tests and panels available, but no single test is perfect for distinguishing mesothelioma from carcinoma or even benign versus malignant. The positive markers indicate that mesothelioma is present. If other markers are positive, it may indicate another type of cancer such as breast or lung or lung adenocarcinoma. Salteranin is a particularly important marker in distinguishing mesothelioma from metastatic breast or lung cancer. Subtypes of malignant mesothelioma There are three main histological subtypes of malignant mesothelioma. First is epithelioid. Second is sarcomatous. And third is biphasic. Epithelioid and biphasic mesothelioma make up approximately 75 to 95% of mesothelioma and have been well characterized histologically. Whereas sarcomatous mesothelioma has not been studied as much highly. Most mesothelioma express high levels of cytokeratin 5, 
regardless of subtype. Epithelioid mesothelioma is characterized by high levels of cell retinin. Sarcomatous mesothelioma does not express high level of cell retinin. Other morphological subtypes have been described as clear cell, glandular, desmoplastic, deciduid, adenomatoid, mucohyalin, cartilaginous and osseous metaplasia.